Hi everyone, Mademoiselle Asphodel Carol here. I have another project to share with you today. It's a little birdhouse that I made to sort of maybe coax uh, spring along. Uh, yeah, winters are long here in Quebec. <laughs> so first what I did is I took a little wooden bird cage that I bought for like two or three bucks at my dollar store. And I painted it using this Martha Stewart ballet slipper. And I just fell in love with this color. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, so I just did a couple of coats of the paint. And I used the uh, Kaisercraft Key to My Heart collection. I did, this is the same sheet of paper, but print on one side and the plane on the other. So I alternated all around. Then for the top, what I did is I used a Martha Stewart scallop punch and I made a bunch of uh, like shingles I guess I just love the look of that um, I use a tiny trim here between the separations and this trim was probably one of the first trims that I ever bought on uh, on an online shop and I have no idea where I got it <laughs> really don't um, it was a long long time ago but I uh, wound it around the top here and around the edges at the bottom. Uh, the, this was an ugly grayish white rope. Just, you know, there was nothing pretty about it. So what I did is I um, wrapped it with cream color seam binding. Then I put a pink um, lace over it. And I really like how it turned out. You can see some of the seam binding there. Um, then over on the sides here and here it's two pieces of uh, recollection bling that I had in my uh, mustache. This pretty pretty lace, leaf lace was perfect. I wanted something dangling um, but I didn't necessarily want beads and I wanted to do you know leaves on it somehow and I, when I spotted this in my in my lace bin I thought yes this is perfect and I just love how it looks. It's like she built the house um, you know in a camouflaged area. <laughs> um, so I really like the way that looks, the way it turned out. I think it's pretty. This is a Prima flower, and these are Prima vines. They're stacked on each side, a little bit on the top here, and on the bottom, um, some more of the tiny flowers that I just stripped off the vines. And then down here, this is a Wild Orchid Craft Rose that I sprayed with, um, I believe this one was the um, Pink Ladies Pink to variegate it a bit. Um, here's a little mushroom birdie that I had in my stash. Some leaves. And again I used one of those tiny blings from uh, Michaels. And uh, other things that I would gather for my nest if I was a tiny bird. You know, you want your home to look pretty, so she decorated hers with this um, this bubble, some pearls, and some more uh, little blings here and there. Some flowers, another piece from the vine, and on the um, the peg here, or around the peg, I should say, I inserted a um, crochet flower. Here's a flower trim around the hole, and I did the flower trim down here as well. That's just a straight piece of... There we go. So I did the, um, the little flower trim here. And underneath I put a piece of the pattern paper as well. And that's pretty much it. I think it is adorable. I just love it. It's very spring-like. I find. So let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching.
Tchau!